Hi everyone. Uh, I would like to walk you through uh, the capability where we've built some visual cues on the calendar for re reading date selection so that the, uh, that the user is aware of uh, uh, which uh, whether readings are available on, the, on the specific date. And if not, uh, the user uh, is uh, appraised of uh, the creation of a reading with the selected date for which the reading doesn't exist. So uh, if you go to any of the routes, you select uh, one of the wells. Uh, since the daily well reading is in general a, uh, a daily reading, you would actually notice that uh, in addition to the date numbers, we also have a, uh, a dot uh, indicating that a reading exists on those days. So you can see that the readings actually exist right from 1st all the way till 30th. Uh, if I go to, uh, let's assume I go to a meet or a tank and I actually go and check if the tank readings exist, the tank readings also exist. Uh, but let me just come back uh, uh, to a reading like a, a downtime event reading, right? Uh, so this is basically an, uh, an infrequent reading. If, if I go and check uh, right now, because I've basically opened the current date for the reading. Uh, the reading shows up here. I can basically save the data. And then say, I can say this. Say, create a downtime. All right, so now I can sync this data. I come back to the reading. Uh, I go and select the, uh, the infrequent reading. But earlier what used to happen is uh, when we go and select an infrequent, uh, a different date, first thing was the user uh, could not know uh, for which dates the readings exist. Now, because we have the visual indicator, the user can know that right now the date, uh, the readings only exist for the date 30th. Uh, if I select the 25th and I say okay, instead of automatically going and creating a reading and uh, an exception if the user doesn't fill in the data, now it uh, the app explicitly asks the user whether the intent is to view an existing reading or create a new reading. So if the user confirms, then you can go back to the 25th. You enter the data. Uh, right now there's some edit restrictions, uh, the date data entry restrictions. So what I can do is I can create a reading for 25th, save, and then for the next date I say 27th and then save. So downtime started and ended on the 26th and 27th right so i save this i move out of the object i come back if i go and select the downtime event and i go and check this you could see that i actually have readings on uh, two of the dates for this infrequent reading so this helps the user uh, see for which dates the infrequent reading exists across a larger uh, uh, date range. And uh, the second thing is also that uh, the user uh, is basically uh, are given an option to not mistakenly create a reading uh, for a date. Thank you.